Hey everybody, everyone here doing a video and I wanted to do a feedback video regarding the 10x growth conference uh, at Las Vegas in February 2017. Uh, that was held by Grant Cardone and I attended, I flew all the way from Australia. I'm doing this particular uh, review video regarding the first speaker, which was Jordan Zimmerman. So Jordan Zimmerman is, um, he owns a, a marketing advertising um, company that does $4 billion in sales. Um, and uh, he he is uh, he was the first speaker. It was quite amazing. I think in terms of I'm not sure if he personally is a billionaire, but his company does four billion dollars in sales. So that was quite unique, obviously. Um, there was one definitely a one billionaire in the whole conference, um, Naveen Jain, and I'll do a video on him specifically. Um, but yeah, so Jordan had that unique thing about him that he was actually a, a billion dollar company. You know, builder. So that's quite important to know. Okay. Um, now, in the conference, we were given this uh, notepads, basically, um, 10x growth conference GC. Okay, that's that. And uh, I took notes, right? So let me just show you my notes. So I think it goes all this. This is all notes from the conference. Uh, yep, until here. There you go. So that's all notes, all of this. There's no page numbers, but as you can see, it's quite a lot. So I'll do speaker by speaker. And um, the first one I'll talk about is John, Jordan Zimmerman. So um, he, his whole, um, I guess, motto for the, for the speech that he gave is about dream bigger and how you should dream bigger and think bigger and so on. Um, so that was his main message, okay? Um, that wasn't necessarily my biggest takeaway, okay? Um, he went over a few things. He said, obviously, he's not, he's not young, okay? He's gonna older and so on but he still works and he's obviously you know he's filthy rich okay so he said you know he can obviously retire and go on and people ask him why do you still work and he says um, work is my sport okay um, he loves what I do loves what he does and um, you know that's a, that was a very good analogy work equals your sport and you know when you look at uh, athletes you think you know they must love what they do you know and um, you know I know for me I'm a soccer player I like playing soccer not, not professionally, but you know, if I could just do that and do only that, that's all I'll do, right? And obviously, with a, with a, an, an athlete, there is an expiry date to that body in terms of how much you could keep up with the professional level. But in terms of the business world, the entrepreneur world, it's the ultimate sport. Um, so that was one thing he said, which definitely resonated with me. Um, he went over a few other concepts. Um, so one of them, he gave um, an analogy, which was a very good analogy. And he said, um, you know, you've got um, a child, and if you tell a child to draw something, like a tree, I think he said, and he's three or four years old, you'll get colors, you'll get this, you'll get that, you'll get all sorts, of, like the colors in the background, you'll get all this stuff, right? You give the same practical to somebody who's 10 years old, and you'll get green leaves and a brown, you know, branch, and that's it. And he said, that's terrible, because you're conditioned to think like that where you want to think outside the box, you want to think differently, you want to dream bigger. And when you're a kid, you dream bigger, okay? So, and that was a very good analogy, because it's true, you know, you're kind of conditioned to think smaller, think, you know, like, be, be normal. And that's not really uh, the right way to go. So that was a very good analogy. Um, he said in marketing, innovation is differentiation. You gotta always innovate, um, you gotta always stand out, and that's how you market. Um, he said, you never work to collect a paycheck, follow your dream, the money will come. It's not a concept he gave. Um, then he gave a, a tip about marketing, it was very good. He said, people hire you or work with you or whatever, they wanna, wanna pay you, be engaging with you for three reasons and three reasons only. They like you, they trust you, and there's inspiration there, okay? Um, basically, so, if you inspire them, if you get them to trust you, and so on, those three things, like, trust, inspire, okay? Those three aspects is what will make people wanna interact with you and work with you and pay you and so on. So that's, that's I think, was very important to um, understand, like, these are the three reasons why, okay? Uh, the other thing he said is, um, everybody is a brand. Okay, um, dealing with marketing and so on, 
uh, and think about that. He's telling you that, and he's built a, a billion dollar company on branding, marketing, and so on. And he said, every single one of us is a brand. You is a brand. So whenever you're going to post something on social media, whenever you're going to post something on LinkedIn, whenever you're going to post anything, what is that image doing to your brand, the brand of you? What does it actually do? Uh, Damon John said similar thing, um, and this was a very strong point. I think that, uh, you know, I mean, I, I think I, I try to pay attention to that when I post things. I, I don't, try, I'm not posting goofy stuff, you know. Um, I try to post things which are relevant and things that are me. You know, I do like soccer, so I'll post about that, you know. Uh, and, and that's okay with me, you know. I don't mind people knowing, you know. But, um, you know, when people maybe post things when they're drunk or something, you know, that's not they brand themselves as a drunken person, you know? So um, that was very interesting to hear him say that. You know, everything you do, really, what do you communicate to the world about yourself, okay? So that's that's the brand of you, okay? And I think that's applicable not just in marketing, but anybody who uses social media. So that was not a big piece um, that I took away. He said the other thing, there's no second place in life. You either win or you lose. And... Um, Yeah, and the last thing he said is, um, is uh, know your customer, okay, in terms of marketing, not a marketing tip, know your customer really well, you really got to know your customer, what's their fears, what's their desires, what do they want to achieve, how you can help them, all that stuff, and, and be relatable to them, okay, um, and these are the key points, these are my notes from Jordan Zimmerman, um, he um, also uh, gave us his, um, his Instagram, um, it's at jzspeaks, um, so yeah, if you want to follow him, you could uh, check him out. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, his his speech was kind of motivational, you know, which uh, I'm not I'm not big on. My notes was more on the actual tips that he gave, and they were great tips. Um, he's got a lot of uh, how should I say a lot of power behind him. You know, there's a lot of drive when he talks, uh, very overbearing in, in in a good way, right? You can tell, you know, he's got some some uh, oomph behind him, you know. So, uh, yeah, so he was a very good speaker. And, uh, you know, if you want to get the live stream, definitely let me know. I'll give you a link to purchase it. Um, obviously, I'll get a little commission on it. Um, well, maybe I will, maybe I won't, actually. I'm not sure if Grant gives commission on it. But, anyway, you can ask me and I'll give you a link. And, uh, yeah, anyway, that's the Jordan Zimmerman tip and uh, review. And I just wanted to share it. Hopefully, that helps. You can uh, do something with this information. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Okay.